hello guys welcome back again on my channel my name is chima olive i thank you guys so much for all the love you have shown to me for the subscribing thank you guys so much and i pray that god will continue to bless you guys thank you thank you so much i really appreciate it. so on today's tutorial we'll be learning how to cut a shoulder that was here so that is the what we learn how to cut today. So today I have my pattern paper here. As you can see, I have my pattern paper. So the shoulder, shoulder length we'll be working on today is the this is the shoulder uh, the measurement. I have a bust of 42 inches. I have bust point 11 inch. Then under bust is 15 inches. And the waist measurement is 35. Shoulder to waist 17 inches, and the shoulder measurement is 16 inches. So, without wasting much of our time, please let. If today is your first time of coming into my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification button, so that whenever I upload new videos, you will get notified. I upload videos every week. So. Let's get started. So here I have my pattern paper here. I have my pattern paper here. So I'll be working on this pattern paper for today. It's not on fold. I won't be folding it. But where you are cutting on your fabric, you, you place your fabric on fold. So but this is my pattern paper. I won't be folding it. So I'll be making use of it this way. But when you are transferring on fabric, you fold your fabric on fold. Okay, so let's impute our measurements. So the first measurement I'll be marking out, I'll first first of all mark out the horizontal measurement. Sorry, the vertical measurement. So now I have my, I'll be using this edge as my uh, starting point. Then let me go ahead and mark out, let me mark out this. One, I will mark out one inch here as my starting point. So here, this uh, this half inch here, this line will, will serve as my shoulder measurement my shoulder line sorry this is serve my shoulder line so i'll be placing my tape measure from here i'll be marking out my shoulder to waist measurement and my shoulder to waist measurement is 17 inches because this is a shoulder uh, that we are cutting shoulder not off shoulder so i'll be adding extra one inch of um, joining allowance half inch for joining of the dam and um, maybe peplon or whatever we are joining down and half inch for the joining of the shoulder. So here I have my 17 inches, the normal shoulder measurement, the normal shoulder to waist measurement. So I'll go ahead and add extra one inch. So let me mark out my my shoulder uh, shoulder to waist measurement first. So here I have my shoulder to waist 17 inch. I'll go ahead and add extra one inch of joining allowance. So here I have my one inch of joining. Okay, guys, sorry for that. My marker was having this, so I have to get another marker. So, like I was saying, so here I have my one inch here. So this is my normal shoulder to waist measurement. So this one is for this is allowance, see my allowance. This, this is for joining allowance. So here, this is my shoulder line. So I will go ahead and mark out my bust point. Remember I said the bust point we'll be working on is 11, uh, 
the bust point i have 11 inches so here i'll go ahead and measure and mark out my 11 inches so here i have my 11 inches here for my bust point so this 11 inches for the bust then my under bust measurement i have uh, 15 inches so here on a shoulder that whenever you are marking out any shoulder measurement always add extra half inch on your on any uh, measurement or your underboss measurement always add extra half inch so that when you join you won't have it won't have shortage so here i have 15 inch plus extra half inch making 15 and a half for my underboss measurement so i'll go ahead and mark it this is my underboss measurement 15 and a half this line so here on this my bus point i'll go ahead and mark um half inch okay let's first of all get our bus span so now i'll be using my bus span the bus span i'll be using is uh, eight inches so eight inches divided by two you have four inches so i'll go ahead and add extra half inch of joining allowance so here i'll have 4.5 so here i'll be placing my 4.5 here so i have my 4.5 my 4.5 i'll mark it down to the waistline so i will connect so this is my bust fan so here now on this uh, my bust point i'll be coming up by half inch above here and half inch below the reason for this is by the time i will make a curve our posterior curve so i will not have a sharp edge i always say this on my video so here i will extend this line so this is the half inch half inch above and half inch below so now so the next thing we'll do right now is to get our neck line so the neck line i'll be working on today uh, i'll be using a round neck line you can use any neck line of your choice you can use v neck so or sweetheart neck line any neck line of your choice so the neck depth the neck width i'll be working on is four inches you can use any neck width of your choice so here i will input my neck width here on my neck line on my shoulder line i have my four inches of neck uh, with the wideness of the neck and the neck depth i'll be using uh, for the front is uh, okay let me go ahead and use four inches so here i'll be using my four inches you can use v neck if it's v neck you can maybe use a six or seven inches so here but i'll be using my i'll be using round neck so i have my four inches here i'll go ahead and connect So this for my neck line. So I'll go ahead right now and make a curve. Like I said, I'll be using on a round neck measurement, the round neck neck line. So here I have my round neck. Okay. So what you're going to do next now is to get our shoulder measurement. So on this shoulder line, I'll be, add, I'll be inputting our shoulder measurement. And the shoulder measurement I have is I have a shoulder measurement of 16 inches so i'll go ahead and measure my 16 inch. 16 inches divided by two you have eight inches so here i'll be putting my eight inches here so this is my this is my shoulder uh, measurement but i won't be marking it right now so here after after this so let's come down to this uh our under boss under boss measurement so here on my under boss measurement here I'll be using a 1.5 inch. I'll be using one, I'll come out here by 1.5 inches on my underboss measurement. So here I have my 1.5, I'll mark it down to the waistline. So this is my 1.5. Okay, then here. On the same underboss measurement, I will come in by 
one inch here. So I'll be marking out one inch inwards. So here now I have my one inch. You can use half an inch, but me, I like using uh, one inch. So here, this is my one inch here. Okay, so now having done this, I'll go ahead and make a curve. I'll go ahead and cut. You can use your free hand or you can use your French curve. So I have my French curve here. I'll be making a curve from here. I'll be placing my French curve this way. So I'll go ahead and connect. So I'll go ahead and make a curve. That. So this is the reason for the for the one in the half inch below and the half inch above. So I don't want to have a sharp edge. So now what I will do next, I'll be connecting this way from here. I'll be joining it to this half inch above. So from here I'll make a straight line this way. Have you seen what we have here? So now having done this now. The next thing we'll do right now, we'll come back on this our uh, shoulder line. So we'll come back on this our shoulder line. Then you measure the remaining, whatever you have here. After marking out your shoulder measurement, then you, you remove, you mark out your, uh, the neckline, the neck width you're, you're working on. So whatever left from this your uh, shoulder line, whatever remaining from the shoulder measurement, to the to your neckline so what i have here i have four inches remember my neck uh, shoulder measurement is eight so eight i remove four inches for the neckline so what i have left here is four inches so that four inches i'll be marking out the midpoint so the midpoint for my four inches is two inches so here is the two inches here so this is the midpoint so now on this midpoint I'll be coming in out here. I'll mark one inch outward, then one inch inward. So this is what I have here. So in order for us not to get confused, okay. I hope you guys are not confused. This is my actual shoulder measurement. So whatever left, whatever remaining I have here on the neck, line and the shoulder is four inches so here i got the midpoint two inches okay so let me connect this line so that i will not get confused but actually i don't need this line but let me connect it so this line is the midpoint this is the midpoint of the four inches left over here so here from this line now i'll be marking outward one inch and inwards one inch so that is the point i have here so i'll go ahead and make it a, a, a line i'll connect it to this half inch above so here i'll mark it this way to get to this half inch then on this the one inch outwards here i also make a straight line so i to connect to this half inch above so this is what we have here now we are making progress so the next thing for us to do now is to impute our ample uh, depth so remember this is the actual um, our actual um, shoulder measurement so now what we'll do right now is to add because I can, from here now i won't be marking out this if it's on a normal uh, normal boss um normal uh, bodies you see this this place will serve as our normal shoulder we'll here we'll get our ample curve but because this is a bust here and this line here will be cut out this place will be cutting out this thing so here will be cut out so what you do now you have to transfer whatever you have whatever you are cutting out here you, you bring it forward here and add your allowance so now we have remember we, we came out and we came in and out by one more inch making two inches so here i have my two inches 
I will be placing it back here. So here I will be adding that two inches I will cut out here. This is the two inches. So now I'll go ahead and add extra one inch of um, sewing allowance. At least I will sew here half inch and also this part half inch, making one inch. So I'll go ahead and add my one inch here. So on this part now, so here will serve as our, from here we'll be getting our armhole, armhole form. So now on this part here, I will come down by half an inch. I always use half an inch for the shoulder slope. Some people, they will use uh, one inch. For me, I always use half an inch. So from this shoulder line, I will come down by half, by half an inch. So from here now as well, I will be marking out my ample measurement. So the ample I'll be working on is, uh, I'll be using 8.5. So here, if I use 8 in bending, so here I have my 8.5. So I'll make a straight line. So here, everything we'll have here, let me see. I don't want to, I don't want the line to be. So we'll have our 11.2 here. I'll go ahead. So I'll be making a straight line. So here I have. So this is my. Sorry, this part is not this. From here, from this half an inch, will serve as my arm hole. Now we have gotten our, our new arm hole. So what we we'll do next, or from this half an inch shoulder slope, I'll be getting the midpoint. The midpoint, the total I have is 8.5. So the midpoint should be 4.2. So here I have my 4.2. I'll come in by half an inch. So this is my half an inch. So, so then let's impute our bust measurement. Remember the bust measurement is 42 inches. So here I'll mark out my 42 inches. So here my 42 divided by 4 will have um, 10.5. So here is my and both measurement so i'll go ahead and add uh, allowance i'll go ahead and add extra 1.5 inch of allowance you can add two inches you can add 1.5 so i'll be using my 1.5 inch of allowance here so here on this under bust measurement my under bust okay now let's connect the ample first so i have this is my actual then this is my here, I'll go ahead and make, I'll connect it this way. So from here, I'll first of all, connect. Then I'll make a curve. So this is for the front ampoules. So this is what I have here now. So we have gotten our bust and uh, our uh, bust measurement so the under bust measurement is uh, 15 sorry our uh, under bust measurement and uh, second frame is uh, we're working on 30, 34 inches so here i'll impute my 34 inches divided by 34 divided by 4 will have 8.5 so this is my 8.5 add your 8.5 inch for the normal uh, underboss measurement remember here i came out by 1.5 and in by one inch so the total measurement i have here is 2.5 so i'll be transferring this 2.5 cut out here will be cut out so i will transfer it here i have my 2.5 so then i'll add extra 1.5 inch of um, sewing allowance here so on this uh, waist measurement or the sewing allowance, so I'll be inputting my uh, waist measurement, which is 35 uh, inches. So 35 divided by 4, I have 8.7. So this is my 8.7 here. Then I'll go ahead and, add and input this cut out 2.5 inches. Then extra 1.5 inches of sewing allowance. So I will connect the line. So here, don't mind the shape. On a normal body, this shape is supposed to 
come out in and out. But because of this, um, this cut out here, this transfer we made here, that is why the shape is this way. So never mind, by the time you sew it, everything will come to place. So now I'll be making my shoulder slow. So I will go ahead and, and mark my shoulder slant. So here. This is my shoulder slant. I think we are done with this uh, tutorial. I hope this is very clear. I hope this tutorial is clear enough. So this is what we have here. This is our um, shoulder dart bust here. So what is left now is for me to cut it out. So I'll go ahead right now and cut out so that we'll be able to cut the back. So from here. I'm cutting out. Cutting it out, I've cut out. So this is what I remember when you are cutting on, you are tra transferring this on your fabric. Always uh, fold your fabric, um, make your fabric unfold. You fold it before you, you transfer. So this this is what I have got. This my uh, it's pattern paper. So now let's put it aside and cut out the back. So here, so I'll this is I'll use this side as my back. Use it to cut out the back pattern. So what I will do next now is I'll go ahead and mark out my starting point. So here, here's my shoulder line. I'll mark out half an inch for my shoulder line. Here. So this is my shoulder line. This is my shoulder line, which will start as my starting point. So, having marked out my shoulder line, what I will do next is to mark out my zipper allowance. I will be using one and a half inch for my zipper allowance. So, here I will be marking out my 1.5. So, here I have my 1.5 inches of zipper allowance. So, here. So, here this is my 1.5 inch. So, here I will be marking out my shoulder to waist measurement plus extra one inch of uh, joining allowance. So here I have my 17 inches of my shoulder to waist. My shoulder to waist is 17 inches. The extra one inch of uh, sewing allowance here. I'll be happy. That will make it 18 inches. So this is my waistline. So here is my sewing allowance. So this is for my zipper allowance here. I have one and a half inch for zipper allowance. So here. So this is my, we have my zipper allowance. Sorry about that. This is my zipper allowance here. So now what we'll do next, I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and mark out my my shoulder measure uh, my shoulder measurement. No, rather my neckline. So the neckline I'll be working on is remember I used four inches for the front. I will use the same thing. So this is my four inches of neckline. So here, then my shoulder measurement, remember it's 16 inches divided by 2, which is 8 inches. So you are starting your, you will be repeating your mark from here. Don't start from the zipper allowance, from this line here. So this is from where the zipper allowance stops. You place your measurement. So this is my shoulder measurement. So this point here is for my shoulder measurement. So here is my, uh, the neck width, which is 4 inches. So remember, we'll use it for the back also. So for the neck depth, I'll be using 2 inches for the back. You can use if you want it deeper, depending on how you want it, you can go low as low as 9 inches, 7 inches, depending on the style you are making. So here I have my neck, 
my neck this is a high neck so that is why i'm using two inches so you go ahead and make a curve you can use your french curve you can use your free hand so let me just use my french curve here so this is my neckline so what i will do next now is to get i'll be repeating my boss fan remember i use the boss fan of 4.5 for the front so i'll go ahead and mark it my boss span 4.5 so so from here i'll be i'll be using um my ample i'll be using my ample measurement here is i'll be using 8.5 inches for my ample but i'll go ahead and make it nine inches so normally i use nine inch for my back that or so people they also you can use your boss pan your boss point but so i like using my nine inches so here i'll mark at my nine and this is where my my that will start from so here i'll go ahead and put my boss pan so i'll make a line this one this time i no need to add half inch above or half inch below no it's not necessary so having gotten this line now what we do next here on this waistline i will go out by half an inch and i also come in here by half an inch so i'll be connecting this line this way so so this is what we have here this is our dart so what i will do next remember the front we divide whatever we we'll put uh, here so here this is my shoulder measurement so whatever I have left here, I will divide it by two. I have four inches left uh, as well. So I'm going to get the midpoint, which is two inches. So on these two inches of midpoint now, I'll be marking out half an inch out and half an inch inwards. Just like we did in uh, for the front pattern. The front pattern we went in and out by one more inch. But this time around, I'm marking out my I'm using half half inches for the back. So you connect, you also connect it to this point. So you see this is what we have here for the back that. You can use your normal that if you don't want this uh, shoulder that. So people you can, you can use your normal that without connecting it here. So now what we do next, here. So this is my actual uh, neck and uh, shoulder measurement, right? So I'll have to transfer this cut out here. So whatever I have here, remember half inch, I've been making one an inch. So this is one inch. I'll transfer it back here. So I have my one inch here. I'll go ahead and add extra one inch of um, joining allowance, just like we did when we are cutting the back. So this is my new um, shoulder measurement. So right now, what I'll do, I'll come down by half an inch for the shoulder slope, as usual. Then from here, I'll be marking out my 8.5. So here, I'll go ahead and make a straight line. A straight line. I like making sure this is okay, what I had here. So to make sure I'm not, my lines are straight. So. So this is what I have here. This is for my armhole. So what I will do next is to to measure to impute our, uh, our bust measurement. So the bust measurement is bust of 42 inches. So from here you are starting your measurement here. For two divided by four, I have um, 10.5. So I add my 10.5 here. So then I'll be adding my uh, sewing allowance. So the sewing allowance. Remember, I use 1.5. But I will go ahead and add, I'll make it, I'll use 2 inches this time around for the back because I'll be cutting out. So, here I have my 2 inches. I want to use 2 inches for the back because by the time I'll cut this place off, it will short. So, here now, so our waist measurement here. I have you can go ahead and add your under bust measurement as well. You can use your under bust 
here, or if I decide to just mark this way. Remember, our underboss measure was 50 and half. So this is our underboss measurement here. So now you can input your underboss. Our underboss measure, remember, I used 34 inches. So 34 divided by 4, I have 8.5. So here, you can see I have 1 inch, half on both sides. I'll go ahead and replace it. So here, I'll be marking out my. Then I'll go ahead and add extra 1.5 inch. I use 1.5, but I use 2 inches here. It's your choice. You can decide to use 1.5 as well. So here now, I'll be adding the stay weight measurement 35 inches. 35 divided by 4, half sort of 8.7 here. So here, I'll be transferring back my 1 inch, then extra 1.5 inch of sewing allowance. So, we'll go ahead and connect. See? See how this one shape has come out? All like the front here is this, uh, this way. So now, I'll be marking out my armhole here. So for here, I'll connect this armhole here. You see the difference between the front armhole and the back armhole. So here now, I'll go ahead and make and mark out my shoulder slant. So this is my shoulder slant here. So this is what we have here. So our back um, body is ready. So we are done with this um, cutting out. So we are done with the marking. So let's just cut out our, our pattern. So I'll go ahead and cut it out. This is my sewing allowance. Okay guys, I'm done cutting it out. So this is what I have here. This is for the back, for the back pattern, and this is for the front. So we have come to the end of this tutorial. So please remember, don't forget, when you are transferring this on your fabric, always fold your fabric, put your fabric on fold, fold it before you transfer because it's pattern. So that is why I cut out this way. Don't forget, always place your fabric on fold before you transfer. So you can use any neckline of your choice. So we have come to the end of this tutorial, guys. Please, if you find this video helpful, kindly give me a thumbs up. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that whenever I upload videos, you get notified. So don't forget to like and share. I love you guys. Bye-bye. See you in my next video. Thank you so much. Bye.